Hello, y'all. It's 9.44 a.m. in the morning. I apologize for any noise. I got my earbuds in. So, I had to be street homeless last night. <coughs> Excuse me. But thankfully, um, for today, as far as money for food and hotel motel i'm taken care of for for today you know so for today i'm financially covered but tomorrow you know at least i don't know if i might have to be back on the streets again tomorrow night so i have to try to figure out a hotel another hotel or maybe I don't know, same or different hotel or motel. I haven't decided yet of um, where to go to. So this morning, I, it must be a cold front. And this morning I was so cold and still am so cold. And and they, I think they said it was like 57 degrees or something. And I, I felt so cold that I felt like it was unbearable. So despite what I'm going through, I'm feeling like very depressed with my situation, you know. And of course, the gang stalkers and the fake T.I. perps would um, falsely spin the narrative that I put myself in this predicament or that I brought this on myself or I did this to myself or even narcissistic abusers would say victim blame and say the same thing. So ever since like after I became back homeless again, the little bit of support that I had more and more people that so-called in the TI community on various platforms unfollowing and blocking me for no reason at all. And people say that the TI community needs to stick together. You know, so if I was truly a perp, why am I no longer in that apartment anymore? Excuse me. They had so many people in the so-called TI community acted like as if they were blind and could not see that the neighbors were gang stalking me when I had that apartment last month. Or de- or they would defend and agree with the neighbors and try to falsely make like the neighbors were innocent and not perping me or that and, or that they were just living their normal lives and that I was the one that's just acting crazy. So I'm also, you know, deeply hurt that during my most vulnerable times that the professed targeted individuals are unfollowing and blocking me and avoiding me and left and right. And then one of the biggest smear campaigns in the TI community is the narcissistic popular fake control freak TI perps. You know, they falsely, you know, lie and say that I'm a perp, but then they say that I'm schizophrenic and they bully and abuse me just like the regular gang stalkers and act very narcissistic and controlling. And a lot of them falsely profess to be chosen and Christian and going through the same targeting. So, you know, And I'm going to tell TMI, you know, they got me out here, out on the streets, but nowhere to to use the bathroom, nowhere to lay my head or rest. And these people, why they're looking at me like I'm crazy. And I got to be forced to be out on the streets with no sleep spot, no place to use the bathroom, nothing. And 
like I'm out here on the streets with no place to take a bath and I'm my menstruation started yesterday and dealing with cramps and then feeling the nastiest when you got a doo-doo you know when you have to doo-doo or basically have nowhere to doodle, or if you do, you know, you feel like you want to take a shower afterwards and basically will have nowhere to, you know. But, and look, they got all the Masonic colors, too. No wonder they were looking at me like I'm really crazy. So, yeah, I'm telling y'all TMI so, so y'all can see how the gang stalking network got me suffering. And they want me to look like, a, falsely make me look like such a loser. You know, everybody around me want to do their fake photography while I'm doing my video now. So, I, I, I'm feeling extremely, like, very depressed. Very depressed. You know, and then they want to give me that constant reminder that I deserve to be punished or that I'm a very, very bad person. You know, and then for me to be suffering like this, the online perps are taunting and harassing me, lecturing me about consequences for my actions and stuff like that. You know, when the the gang stalking bullies that were neighbors they basically got got away with bullying me out of my home and making threatening bullying harassing and threatening me and making me feel unsafe and then they want all, all fake ti perps and narcissistic regular perps all they want to talk about is oh she got something they talk about me saying Oh, she got something wrong with her. You know, she got something that's mentally wrong with her. See, look, look at him. Right by me. <clears throat> See, I think they're trying to overtalk my video. They're doing all this. Yeah, everything was, uh, this area was clear. Once I try to start to do a video, start to do a video, that's when they all crowd around me, wanting to take pictures and everything. But if I ask for help, they wouldn't. They they would turn their nose up at me or brick wall me. But as I said, I'm feeling like severe emotional depression, very depressed about my about my situation, and and was forced to have to get rid of everything all my all my almost all my possessions this is all i got i don't have the storage unit or that my other belongings no more and, this, and yeah the same people that crowding around me and they won't they won't even help all they're doing is just looking at me like i'm really crazy but they're masonic perp colors so, I mean, I, I don't even know of a solution to get out of my to get out of my predicament. But it, it took. I mean, I fought for over four years to get that place. I fought over four years to get that place to live, and. I fought over four years to get that place to live, and um, look at him. I fought over four years to get that place to live, and then just to end up being hum back homeless again after a month. I feel so devastated. I hope y'all were able to hear me. So I need any and all the help I can get.